After days of long delays on the rails, the governor says he is done with excuses. Today, he met with the contractor which runs the commuter rail. Baker says their plan to get back on track just is not good enough. Right now, there are only 45 of the 65 commuter rail trains that are operating. The contractor, Keolis, says it's working to get more people and equipment out on the lines to clear the snow, trying to improve communication with the riders. But how's that going? Beth Germano is live at the Yawkey Way commuter stop in Boston with the story. Beth? And David, it seems these passengers are going to be waiting a while for a train. And it was described as a tough meeting between the governor's staff and Keolis, which issued an apology to passengers today. And while Keolis is pledging to get a recovery plan in place soon, it might not meet the governor's timetable. Trains stuck in the snow, and commuter rail passengers are looking for a lifeline. Um, this morning, we were told that we we're going to be a 610 train. It was another 20 to a half hour late because of frozen doors. Now the governor has stepped in, demanding Keolis, the commuter rail operator, provide more reliable service. I mean, I'm, I'm sort of done with excuses, okay? I want to hear what people are actually going to do to get the riding public back to the point where people can depend on and rely on the service. The board says it all. Some trains on time, some canceled, and some never come at all without warning. My train's canceled right now, and um, I don't have another one until 4 o'clock. Uh, will the customers now know whether or not their train is coming or going? Can you guarantee that? We're going to come as close to guaranteeing it as we can. We're working on a solution right now. Which includes fixing some 20 locomotives whose brakes and hydraulic systems are disabled by the snow, stepping up snow removal operations on the tracks, and better communication since Keolis admits this. The information doesn't get too bad, but when it does get bad, it's horrible. And Keolis says it could take a week to deliver accurate information to passengers. As for the MBTA, the National Guard will help with snow removal to get the red line restored to Braintree. Orange and Green Line saw some tracks reopen, but timing is everything. That's, that's more the problem than anything, you know, because you expect to get here at a decent hour. And... Now, Keola says a software glitch is to blame for inaccurate information and admits that one person has been responsible for that part of the system. Keola's has been fined in the past for service problems, but says the focus now is get the trains up and running on schedule. Reporting live from Fenway, I'm Beth Germano, WBZ News. David? All right, Beth, thank you.